Okay, hello, hi, <laughs> I'm Sarah, um, and this is a talk on um, XM Cloud and Personalize and CDP. The reason that I'm doing this talk is because a lot of people say like personalization is in XM Cloud, and I just want to explain exactly what's there, exactly what you can add on, and what the options are as well. So that's what this talk's going to basically be about. Most of this is going to be a demo, so I'm going to be showing you basically a demonstration of a company, a utility company, and I'm using that to show you all the capabilities that we have basically in CDP and Personalize and what you can do. I just have one slide before I get into that. I should caveat though, the demo is recorded, it won't be live. I only have 15 minutes, so I didn't think I'd have time. <laughs> okay, so the number one thing to know about these products is um, they are already very closely integrated, okay? There's already parts of personalized being used in XM Cloud. And because of that, there's almost total data consistency between these two products. So when you talk about things like XM Cloud Analytics or personalized experiences or just view events coming in, both, they'll go to both products automatically, okay? Out of the day, out at the, the first day that you use XM Cloud with the starter kit. So you'll be getting all of that immediately. The other thing to note is, Right, the same thing is true with CDP, okay? So with CDP, obviously you have a lot more data. You have customer data, you have segments, you have audience, you have a lot more data there. But actually all of this from the very start will be completely consistent between all these different platforms. So basically there's one SDK being used in XM Cloud, and this is the same X SDK that we're using in CDP and Personalize as well. And the reason that we're able to do a lot of the things that I'm gonna show you in this demo is because there's data consistency between these three different products, okay? And obviously this talk, by the way, in the roadmap of doing this with a lot of other Sidecore products, but literally today, this is already working with these three, okay? So this isn't like something in the future, this is, this is today how it works. Okay, so I'm gonna immediately now jump into the demo and show you how all this works, because I only have 15 minutes. <laughs> Okay, so this here is my demo of a utility company built in XM Cloud, okay? And here's my website. So I'm starting off here on the homepage. I'm gonna click over here onto the accounts page, okay? At the moment, I'm just an anonymous customer. So I've never been on this page before. And what we're gonna see is all this data is being automatically captured inside of CDP, okay? And again, this is all using the starter kit of XM Cloud. So without doing anything, this is already what's happening, basically, if you have both of these products. So this is an anonymous profile inside of CDP. We don't know who this person is yet. If we go over here into the timeline, we'll see there's currently an open session that we have, and we'll see these view events being captured. It's just me going on the home page and the account page as well. We can also go and have a look at some more detail on these events. So one of the crucial things that I want to point out here is we're not only capturing this view event, we're also capturing any personalization that's running on these pages as well. And we're gonna be using that also later on in the demo to showcase how we can have things consistently running across all our channels. Because that's one of the things we can do as well with personalized, it's not just web. So this here's where I can view all the details of my events. So if I click here on, for example, the account page, this is everything that's coming in in that event. And then here, what I wanna show you is, I have in here my first party cookie, but also here I have my page variant ID. So I have some personalization running on my account page, and this here is picking up exactly what variant of that personalization in XM Cloud I have here in CDP. And I'm gonna be using that information later on as well. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go back onto the homepage and I'm gonna log in. So we're gonna see all the like wealth of more data that I basically have inside of CDP. In just a moment. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna log in. So now here I'm gonna log in here is this user here, Bree, okay? And when I submit this login, we're gonna see a few things. The first is all my customer data is showing up here. For example, my ID, my name, you know, my contract period, things like that. And I'm also seeing this promo here on the page, which is telling me I'm gonna get 10% off my first three months if I continue my contract. 
And the reason I'm getting that is because my contract is ending in the next 90 days, okay? So I'm gonna show you how, like as a marketeer, I can build all this basically directly from XM Cloud. So the first thing to show you is now that I've logged in, I just wanna show you what exactly is happening in CDP. So in CDP, my profile is gonna have changed from that kind of anonymous profile into this known profile here for Brie. So if I refresh here, this page of this anonymous profile, what I'm gonna see is it's retired. And the reason being it's automatically merged with an existing profile for Brie. This is my profile for Brie. You can see we know a lot more about her. Okay, so we know, for example, when she's usually online and what channels she uses. If I go here into our timeline, we're gonna see we've just sent her an email. I'll get back to that in just a minute. And we can also see, for example, that she currently has an open session. The reason for that is the data has been automatically migrated from that session you saw a moment ago into this session here. So you can see here, I've just been on the home page, then gone onto the account page, and then I just identified myself as well. So all this has been automatically migrated over into this prof profile here. One of the reasons we have a CDP is basically to keep one consistent profile of all customers. So that's what's happening here as well. If I go in here into the properties, what I'm gonna see is all that data we saw there on that page is in CDP. In this example here, I'm actually pulling this data from CDP in order to populate what's in XM Cloud, okay? So for example, you saw there like the contract term, my um, account number, my um, when my contract is ending, all that kind of stuff here, and that's coming here from CDP in this case. So. If I jump over into XM Cloud, this is what XM Cloud looks like. This is my home page. This is my account page here. And we can just see this actually is a component that is pulling data from CDP directly. So this here is the component that I have for pulling in contract data, customer data, payment data, et cetera. And I can just drag these over and use them directly on the page. So we can see here, for example, like none of these are populated when I'm editing the page, but when I go on it as a user, it automatically has data in there. So obviously, like as a marketeer, I can build out this page. I don't have to worry too much about CDP. I'm just dragging these components across. If we go into personalization, you can see here I have a few different variants of what's being shown on the page. I have, for example, um, a free boiler servicing offer, example of the page. So this is for all customers that are on 24 month contracts, or sorry, on 12 month contracts. And then I have this one here, the Bree saw, which is basically saying, if your contract is ending in 90 days, we wanna give you 10% off. So it's basically kind of like a renewal journey. So if I go in here and edit this audience, the key thing I wanna show you here is I'm utilizing all of that CDP data here automatically from XM Cloud. So I have a huge amount of power in my hands directly. So this is my audience, and I'm just gonna go in here and show you how I can build this out as well. So when I'm building out an XM Cloud, I have a number of conditions that basically come out of the box. A lot of you probably already know this. And I can also build my own custom conditions. So these custom conditions is basically enabled by having personalized. So if you have personalized, you can build out whatever conditions you want to add on top of the out of the box conditions that come with um, XM Cloud. And you can base them on any event data or any custom event data that you're sending into the platform. Now, because I have CDP as well, I can also use CDP data directly. So I can use, for example, what plan the customer's on and also all that additional data you saw me use earlier. Like for example, in this case, the contract end date. Okay, so I'm building out this very kind of sophisticated audience here. So we can extend this as well. Let's say, for example, we wanna to add to our audience and say, we actually also want to target anybody that's on say, that's not on a green energy plan, but they have actually produced solar energy, let's say in the last one year. So here I'm gonna say um, either or, and here I'm gonna choose that I don't want anybody on the green energy plan. And at the bottom here, I'm gonna choose from my CDP data. So I've built out these conditions um, in personalized to use CDP data. And I'm able to leverage them here now completely seamlessly in XM Cloud, okay? So here you can see I'm using all this CDP data to pull in, for example, um, solar energy that's been produced. Okay, the key thing to note about this is, this is all still kind of audience-based personalization, okay? So we're gonna get into more complex types of personalization in a minute. 
because you might have use cases that get far more complex than what you're seeing here, basically, which is like, how do I treat this group of people? Whereas instead you might want to say, how do I treat this person one-to-one -one directly? So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you, earlier on we saw that I was sent basically a welcome email. We're going to see now that the content inside of that welcome email is exactly the same here as um, the content that I have here in XM Cloud. So what I'm doing is inside of Personalize, I'm pulling back basically the content that I have here in XM Cloud, and I'm using that here in my email. So I know this particular user has seen this particular variant of the page, as we saw in my event earlier. And because of that, I'm pulling back the content that relates to that particular page. So that's what we can see here in my email. So I'm getting consistent communication no matter what channel I'm on. This here is an example of email, but it could be an example of you know, a contact center, it could be an SMS, it could be a push notification, et cetera. So I'm just showing here how this can also move beyond web to kind of do things also, for example, on email. Okay, so as I mentioned, that was an example of one-to-one -one type personalization. Sorry, that was an example of audience personalization. This is an example of one-to-one -one personalization. So this component here, it's telling me for me, for Brie, how much would it cost me to move to the green energy plan? So it's predicting, for example, what my energy usage would be and what that plan would cost me as a result. No one else is gonna see the component look like this, okay? So for use cases like this, like calculators, it's a perfect example of where audience-based personalization isn't gonna work, okay? We need something much, much more targeted. So in this example here, we're saying, how exactly do we wanna communicate with Brie specifically? And you can see here, if I hover over it, the reason why she's getting this is because she has generated solar energy in the past, for example, one year. So that's why she's getting that exact um, number here showing up. So this is an example of when we wanna go beyond, say, the out of the box rules that we have in XM Cloud, and we wanna start using, for example, personalization that's one-to-one -one based, something much, much more complex. If I go here onto this page in XM Cloud, you can see here I have a very similar component as I showed you earlier. This time the difference is just that it's calling a decision model inside of Personalize to do much more sophisticated type uh, personalization with the audience. Again here, I could just drag and drop this onto the page if I wanted to. The final example that I wanna talk through is gonna be about um, A-B testing. So as you know, A-B testing is coming basically in um, XM Cloud, but I'm gonna show you today how I've set it up and how it's gonna be different in future also with, um, with Personalize. So the bottom here of the page, you can see I'm seeing a component here, this yellow one with the light bulb. And I'm gonna show you basically is that this is actually running an A-B test. So if I pull up here another example of the page, we're just gonna see here, this person isn't seeing this component. Okay, the reason for that is we're A-B testing the component. So I'm gonna show you how exactly I've set this up in XM Cloud directly. So this here is my A-B testing component with a number of different variants here. You can see here my UI isn't fantastic, but you get the idea. This here is variant one and variant two, et cetera. So what this is doing is it's calling um, server-side personalization inside of Personalize. So this is how today I could set up personalization before we fully release it in XM Cloud. The other advantages of doing this in Personalize is basically gonna be so that you can use multi-arm bandit, okay? So basically it's optimized testing. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna automatically split my traffic based on the performance of a goal. So if you have like a customer or anyone interested in doing much more sophisticated types of A-B testing, this is based the way in which you could do it. So I'm gonna go to personalize to show what I'm talking about. This is the performance dashboard for this particular A-B test. You can see here I have multiple different variants and it's showing me against my goal how each of them is performing. So my goal here is bounce rate on the page. I start off with this algorithm inside of Personalize with all my traffic being split um, equally, so 25% each. What's gonna happen is automatically my traffic is gonna get pushed into one of these different variants depending on which one is performing best, okay? So whichever one has the lowest bounce rate, it's gonna automatically push traffic allocation into that particular variant. So this isn't something that's gonna get released with um, XM Cloud. It's just gonna be, for example, in Personalize. 
So what I've tried to show you today is basically all the ways in which these two products work very well together and also what's possible, say, just for personalized. So just to recap, um, you've seen there all the events, okay, that are automatically coming into XM Cloud. The same thing's going to CDP, the same thing's going into personalized. In XM Cloud, I have my out-of-the-box conditions. I have the same thing um, where I can also add conditions to that using personalized. They can also contain, for example, CDP data to make it really, really powerful when I'm just working there as a marketeer. The next thing you saw is omni-channel personalization using the same content that I have on XM Cloud. So I have content consistency across all those different channels. Then what you saw was one-to-one -one kind of complex type personalization. And then finally, I was just showing you A-B testing and kind of the options there. Um, I'm out of time. I'm just going to thank the sponsors. If anyone has any questions about how this was built or anything else, you can come find me. Happy to answer questions.